The communication from Kane and Caicedo ought to instill renewed transfer optimism for Bellingham within Liverpool. Back in April, Liverpool's decision to withdraw from the race to acquire Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund not only sparked a negative reaction on social media but also led to feelings of disappointment and confusion. The club had seemingly built its entire transfer strategy around securing the young talent, even foregoing a crucial midfield signing in 2022 to accumulate funds, yet no official offer was made. Real Madrid, a team that had previously inflicted painful defeats upon Liverpool on the field, dashed fans' hopes of witnessing a generational talent at Anfield. While it's easy to catastrophize after losing a transfer battle and to believe that a player will never don your team's jersey, such outcomes don't necessarily rule out future possibilities, unless the player joins a direct rival or has reached a point in their career where major moves are unlikely. Focusing on Bellingham, who recently turned 20, we shouldn't assume that his future is solely tied to Real Madrid, even if he finds success there. It's not uncommon for top players to seek new challenges despite being at the pinnacle of their careers. Examples like Manchester United's signings of Rafael Varane and Casemiro, or Thiago's move to Liverpool shortly after winning the Champions League with Bayern Munich, demonstrate this trend. Last year, Sadio Mane made a move in the opposite direction despite Liverpool's domestic cup double and near-quadruple achievement. This year, Bayern Munich's marquee addition is Harry Kane, who has finally completed a £86 million move from Tottenham after prolonged uncertainty and negotiations. Kane's farewell message to Tottenham supporters hinted at future plans, good luck to Tottenham, good luck to the whole club. It's not a goodbye as you never know how things will pan out in the future but it's a thank you and I'll see you soon. Who would dismiss the possibility of Kane staying at Bayern for a couple of years, clinching the trophies he lacks, especially the Champions League, which remains a major objective after his loss to Liverpool in the 2019 final, and then making a return to England, whether with Tottenham or another club. This scenario would provide Kane with the chance to pursue both the domestic honours he's yet to secure and the widely discussed Premier League goalscoring record, where he currently trails Alan Shearer by 47 goals. Bellingham, who rose through the ranks at Birmingham City, might also feel a sense of unfinished business in English football. Traditionally, most English players have considered winning the Premier League or the Champions League with an English club as the pinnacle of their careers. With the Premier League now firmly established as the world's top, and wealthiest, league, there's an objective truth to that sentiment. Few elite English talents choose to play abroad, and even those who do often return. Notably, Steve McManaman, Michael Owen, and Jonathan Woodgate all came back to England after stints at Real Madrid. If Bellingham does decide to return to England, Liverpool would likely be in a favourable position to negotiate, given the groundwork they've likely already laid with the players' representatives behind the scenes. While such a deal would likely involve a significant nine-figure sum, the pursuit of Bellingham was always founded on the belief that players of his extraordinary potential warrant such an investment. Liverpool's recent £110 million bid for Moises Caicedo underscores their willingness to allocate substantial funds for a transformative player. Ultimately, as Kane himself mentioned, you never know.